Let us get started. All right, can you guys see my screen? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello. Yo, 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 it's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a while. All right, so if you guys don't know me, my name is Fatai. I will be your instructor for 3D modeling and rendering Nomura Dos. Um, I have a few expectations of you. Today is going to be more of like an orientation day for you guys to kind of get you guys started and um, uh, understanding what this class is going to be for you. Um, and for everybody, it's going to be a few different things. You might be um, just coming from 3ds Max. You might just be coming from Blender or Maya. So I try to kind of bridge the gap and, and give you guys a well-rounded experience when it comes to... Um, 3D modeling and rendering. So you guys kind of understand that that process of high poly, low poly uh, texture and then present your work. So that's pretty much the the flow for the class. That's going to be the flow. Um, if you've taken my class before, you know how I like to kind of do my class uh, if, when we were in person. So we would pretty much start with, you know, we'd look over your um, your art station pages. I, I still do that. We look over your art station pages or your threads um, and we go through and talk about what your needs are what you're working on how it's going and I try to assist you along the way and and give you the best uh, experience that you can get and you know try to kind of demystify a lot of the the questions that you're gonna have uh, with this stuff so um, let's let's go to So, uh, 3D modeling and rendering, hello world. So let's, uh, let me present this. So, like I said, who am I? Let's start this. Let's start this way. Who am I? My name is Fatai Oboye and I am a, uh, 3D, uh, modeling and rendering, uh, professional. I work doing this, uh, I do models and renders for different companies uh, like uh, ABC auctions. We do vehicles, uh, whatever they need, interiors, exteriors, using different modeling uh, software. So little things like that is uh, the kind of stuff that I do. And, you know, I'm not one of those people who's going to try to get into all of the work that I've done or things like that. But um that's pretty much me. I do a lot of 3D modeling and rendering. Uh, you'll see pretty soon that it's pretty much, you know, uh, encompasses all of who I am right now in the sense that um, it's it's given me a life that, you know, I didn't think was uh, really possible. But it's a really, really cool, cool job. And I hope you guys get to enjoy it. So um, other than that, let's uh, let's see what's what to expect. Let's see what to expect. Hold on one second. All right. Uh, what to expect from this class you should expect somebody who is going to kind of help you along uh, I expect you guys to help each other right uh, it's important for you guys to kind of communicate with each other and talk in the forums uh, especially in the world we live in right now where you know where it's it's COVID so we we are forced to kind of be inside now we're forced to kind of be inside and working with each other so it's important for you guys to learn how to communicate a little better and um, really, really start to build those bonds because these are the people that you're going to be working with a lot of the times in the future if you guys are good enough and you guys want to pursue this. So this is something that you guys can definitely uh, help each other out with. So uh, if somebody knows something or they're better than you, don't be afraid, right? Like suck it up and say, hey, I know you're good at this part. I'm not good at this part or I'm good at this part. I can show you what I know. You can show me what you know and we can kind of get better 
uh, together. It's very important that you guys start working with each other because, man, um, having people that you can count on to work with and help you to grow and learn in this stage of your career is very important. Um, uh, and you guys are, you know, more isolated than, than we were, uh, when we were, you know, so you, you guys need to kind of take advantage of this and this discord is going to be open for you guys, um, you know, forever and ever and ever and ever. So, uh, there's nothing to worry about in that sense. So, uh, some class, some class rules. We do have class rules, you know, like you gotta, you gotta know the rules guys. You gotta know the rules. So let's. Let's head over and look at the class rules. So, I'll put my my spectacles back on so I can see. All right. So, uh, the students must contribute to conversations. Neither stalkers nor cyberspace lurks are allowed. Right? Don't just be in the corner or something. Just you know, being you know, not saying anything. And uh, I want you guys to participate and ask questions and ask questions of others and and try to figure out you know how to really uh, how to really do this. So, uh, let's see. So, ha let's see. Uh, a shared learning environment is only effective if everyone involved actually shares. As instructors, uh, offer uh, class points to those, uh, who part uh, those who participate in the conversations. Uh, make providing insightful commentary in the outline online discussions a requirement for passing this course so you guys have to participate all right this isn't just for me this is part of the requirements from the school uh so this is some of the stuff that i have to i have to kind of read to you guys is to let you guys know hey you guys kind of have to participate you guys have to kind of share and give us some input because well that's the only way you guys are going to you know kind of get this stuff uh Get this stuff sunk, sinking into your uh, your your brains, so to speak. So the benefit of interactive education is that students can act as additional facilitators, and good teachers will allow themselves to learn from the students. No one uh, is an expert in all things technology. If you find that some of your students have more experience than others in using online discussion forums. Um, and perhaps more experienced than you, encourage them to, as advocates and educators. So, yeah, you know, I'm never, um, you know, I'm not um, um, omnipotent, I think is, is the word. I don't know everything. And, you know, you guys should be in the in the thick of it. You guys should be in the field, right? Uh, you know, kind of doing this stuff. So I think you guys will have, you know, should should be, be tapped into the latest tech and the latest... Uh, stuff. So I'm always open to you guys saying, Hey, you know, this is how this person's done it, or this is what I've seen or, you know, and, and, and it's a, it's a community, right? It's not, it's not a dictatorship in the sense that, you know, when we talk or when we're in our classroom, it's not just me always lecturing. Sometimes it's going to be me asking you guys questions about what you guys are doing and how you guys are, are finding some of this stuff and how, you know, how you guys are reacting to some of the stuff that's uh, going on tech wise or software wise or what you guys have tried because you know I, I I can't know every software I can't know everything I only know what I work on so uh, it's always fun and, and you know eventually like when you guys get to the position where you know we can be colleagues well you know that's how it's gonna be right like eventually I'm training you guys but eventually you guys you know if you guys work in the industry well we'll be colleagues right like it's not gonna be a teacher a student relationship forever and for most of your teachers it's never going to be like that you're not going to be a, a student forever right and you guys need to start start thinking about uh you know how you interact with people and, and being you know professional and, and little, little things like that so if you if you find that some of your yeah, okay so uh let's see use a uh, proper writing style this is a requirement a virtual classroom is a professional environment right as if you are drafting a term paper and tell your students to do the same however remember your audience if you would judge another person's writing you can expect someone is judging yours all right use proper writing if you need to go through spell check i have uh, a spell check thing that i do um on um uh it's it's grammarly that's what it's called grammarly uh i have an account so whenever i'm writing something to make sure that it's in you know proper 
uh, proper diction. It's got the proper grammar. I throw it in there and it, it, it helps me out and it gives me a, you know, better punctuation. If I'm missing, I, if I haven't capitalized the eyes or something like that, and I'm missing things and it's always good to always have somebody else read your writing as well. If you're going to post something like if you have a short story, I, you know, anything you're writing, you want to get in the habit of making it uh, sound the best that it can and look the best that it can using software that's free and available for you, right? You know, it doesn't take uh, a lot these days to have proper grammar, and I expect it from you guys. You guys are old enough to know how to use these kind of these kind of software. So respect diversity. Uh, so this is, you know, as a diverse a class as you guys can probably imagine. Uh, we've got all kinds of people in here, all kinds of. Uh, you know, backgrounds and experiences. So definitely be respect be respectful of everybody in here. No derogatory or sarcastic comments, joking or marginalizing people, and just different things like that. Just the basic. Just be good. You know, treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, you want to you want people to be nice to you. Then you know, be nice to them. It's it's that simple, right? Um, you know, you don't have to be sarcastic to get your point across. You can just say, hey, that you can do it like this, or you can, you know. You can genuinely care about somebody without having to demean them or you can interact with people without having, you know, and I know in these day and age, it's very, oh, uh, that's, you know, we live in a very divisive time. So like I imagine it, you know, it's very easy for you to just, you know, kind of passively or do, do, you know, uh, do things like that. So, but I want, I want us to be kind of mindful of, you know, everybody's background and everybody might not know what you know, or everybody might not be where you are 3d wise, or, you know, know what you know. So don't assume everybody's on that same page and treat everybody like, Hey, you know, I understand where you're coming from and, and, and just, just basic common, uh, common decency. Right. So no flaming. Um, so, um, no tantrums, uh, like, please, this is a this is a class, right? If you're gonna give somebody feedback, like I said before, be constructive about it. It does. You don't need to, you know, um, you you don't need to 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 put people down. You don't need to do any of that stuff. You just need to, if you want to give somebody some advice on their artwork, just hey, just some you know advice. Boom, boom, boom. This is what I think you can do better. This is what I can. This is what I see that I can. You know, be constructive with it. Don't just go and be like, oh, this is garbage. You know, that that's. That's not helpful to anybody. How you know what is not good about it? Is it the lighting? Is it the modeling? Is it the line work? What is not you know? Be specific. No, just random you know crap posting on, on people's stuff and and no profanity, people. Uh, let's let's try to keep it down. I'm gonna be recording a lot of these. Um, uh, all of our all of my lectures will be recorded for you guys to go back and watch. So um, you know. I would like you guys to, you know, cut the profanity for the class, right? We can definitely talk to each other without having uh, to curse at each other or do any of those uh, extra things. Or, you know, we can have a conversation without, you know, busting F-bombs and B-bombs and any of that. So uh, that is definitely, uh, definitely possible. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be recorded. You, I will show you where you guys can find all of uh, the class. But let's, let's get back to the... Um, uh, introduction to the 3D modeling. So let's get back to this. We just went over the class rules. So how do you excel in the CG world? This is a, a very interesting question. And I think it's a, it's an interesting question because it depends on what you, what your, uh, definition of success is. What is your definition of success is your definition of success, making a million dollars and doing this. And you know, what is your definition of success in uh, in CG, is it being the best artist, right? Is it being uh, the best pencil artist? Is it being the best 3D modeler? Is it the, being the best texture artist, right? So what is your definition of success, right? Is it making $100,000 selling models? Is it making $100 in the studio working for somebody, right? So there's different levels of success. So you have to find that for yourself, right? Figure out what that is. And then I would suggest that you start to, uh, to focus and, and try to attain that. Uh, so, you know, how do you excel in this classroom? How, how do you excel in this classroom? Well, uh, you're going to get a series of assignments and you're going to be required to do them and you're going to be required to post. And I'm going to try to train you in the way that I would expect you guys to treat a client, right? That's asking you for a job. That's asking you, Hey, I need this done. I need this high poly, this low poly, this render. And I need you to show me that you can be professional. I need to, to, to show me that, Hey, I, you know, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing at this point. 
what did you need here? You know, little things like that, that, that communicate, uh, to a professional that, that communicates to a client that you take their job seriously, that you take their, their work, uh, seriously. And I, I'm not going to expect you guys to be, uh, you know, the best modelers in the universe. I don't expect you guys to be, um, uh, you know, uh, Vittori Bolgarov or, you know, I don't expect, I don't expect that yet. You know, uh, you guys are modeling and rendering tuning. So I do expect you guys to have good quality work, but I expect you guys to try, right? I expect you guys to, to try to do this stuff. You guys have already been in modeling software. You guys shouldn't be all, you know, brand spanking. Is this anybody's first modeling class? Like, you know, is this anybody's first modeling class, modeling class? No. No, yeah, I would imagine so. So if this is nobody's first modeling class, then we shouldn't have an issue, right? We shouldn't have, um, um, we shouldn't have an issue with you guys at least putting out some decent uh, caliber work. And if you you guys are good enough, well, this stuff can be portfolio quality work that you guys can really start to use to uh, get freelance or whatever it is that you're uh, trying to do. So, uh, number five, um, how to utilize this Discord channel. All right, so the best way for you guys to kind of utilize this Discord channel is uh, you wanna know where things are. So uh, every time you get into class, there is something, the first thing you guys should do is you're gonna sign this attendance uh, attendance roster and let's show you, uh, let me show you guys uh, the template for it, so. So let's back up on this. So you're gonna you're gonna sign the attendance and roster, and you're gonna put your uh, first, last name, first and last name, the date, and uh, you know present. And that's every time you show up to class, every single uh, time you're gonna do that. And that is how I will mark your attendance. And uh, for some students, that is how they get their student aid. So you have to meet a certain level of um, attendances. So if that's you, I don't know who that is specifically. That does, There's no information. But if you need that financial aid or something, and, and you, ha you should know that it's a part of a requirement that you have to be in class a certain amount of time and mark attendance. And that's the, that's the way I do it. So... Um, I'm going to check in daily on the project that you're currently working on. Um, and, uh, let's see, we're, I'm going to check your, uh, forms to see if you've updated them, uh, texts or images all the time. And, uh, let's see, let's go back to the discord. So your attendance, that's how you're going to send your attendance. You're going to put it in here just like that. Thank you. A April. Oh, wow. April. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So let's see. And then there's gonna be a, a, a you know, a, another channel in here where you can find tutorials and links that aren't by me, right? These aren't my personal links. This isn't my channel, and I do have my own channel that you guys are gonna have to subscribe to and follow and watch for all of the classwork that I do. That's where I'm gonna dump everything that you guys need for your class. Every, all my lectures will be there. Uh, as well as here. So I'll put the links here that you can use to go find them, but you know, you'll know that you'll have that available and whenever I post something, you'll be able to uh, to see it. All right, so here is uh, the posting guidelines. Uh, so here you just go, you download the posting guidelines and then you look at it and it should show you how I would like you to post if you're working on a project, right? So this is, uh, you know, how I would want you to approach posting on the forum, right? Showing me the process and talking about it, letting me know what you're doing, if you're running into any challenges, what's stopping you, what's keeping you from uh, going, any anything that I need to know uh, to help you along the way. And, and this eventually will help demonstrate to, to people, oh man, this guy really knows what he's doing. He knows how to approach it. And this kind of demystifies some of the process uh, for people as well. So uh, this is something that you guys can go and download uh, from the Discord so you guys know how, would how I would like you guys uh, uh, to post. All right, so uh, there's gonna be a quizzes and tests uh, section here. Uh, 
Uh, right now it's locked, but whenever you guys, uh, whenever my first quiz and stuff is going to be posted, I will uh, open that up for you guys and you guys will be able to uh, to check it out. Uh, another thing you guys want to check out is assignments and due dates. And for you guys, um, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a little interesting because last class um, we started with this guy. So what, what I'm doing for uh, my class is um I am modeling this entire scene. Every single thing in this scene is going to be modeled at some point in time, and I'm, it's going to all be on the channel. And uh, I'll show you guys um, where we currently are. And what I want to do now is, um, what I want to do is for every one of these, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the best pieces from everybody else's. So everybody will get, you know, one to model or whatever you pick, whatever it is you want to model. And you're required to do four of these pieces, right? And we're going to put up, put them together uh, at the end of the class and to see, you know, if we can really kind of knock these out. Uh, and you guys will have a, a, a piece like that looks like this in 3D that you guys um, can, uh, can you know, kind of show on your portfolio and say, hey, look at what I did or look at these, these models and, and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a cool, a cool project. So I'll just quickly show you guys uh, where it, the, the current stage of it is. So here it is right here. So let's hide this guy and I'll show you guys where we currently are so all of this means that this there are tutorials from how to high poly all of these assets right this is where we finished uh for my last uh semester so this semester we're hopefully going to finish it and that includes the characters you guys are in modeling and rendering too now so i expect you guys to be able to do some basic uh, basic modeling and in the Mario character is not going to be that hard to do uh, these characters in in here so uh, hopefully you guys can um, you know will enjoy something like this and and learn uh, from this process uh, because it was, it was fun to do and uh, you know I even got uh, as the class progressed I would ask you know what people wanted to see me make next and and we kind of tackle it from uh, from there so it was a really fun project and I can't wait to Hopefully, continue it with you guys and, and, and get you guys to uh, contribute and, and put something together that you guys can show and say, hey, look at what we did as a class, or look at you know this project that I did this this cool uh, this cool piece. Uh, so, uh, does anybody have any questions so far? Uh, I don't I don't want to go too fast before I ask uh, any questions. Do you have you guys have any questions for me? Uh, you guys can't see the scene. You guys can't see anything on my screen right now. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you if you're on your phone, you might not get the full um unless you can you need to go to uh uh wherever my uh, the the general chat is and I'm going live right now so see if you can find the live button right uh, and and use that to view uh, view the class uh, the suggestion is that you you watch this on a laptop right the suggestion is that you you uh, you know you you, uh, you have a yeah so I wouldn't suggest re, you know watching this class uh, real time at least on um, on your phone. Right. I'm going to be recording a lot of it, you know, so you'll you'll definitely get to see this later because this is definitely recording. But um, yeah, just uh, FYI. So uh, that's going to be pr pretty much this class. So you're going to be required to do four of these. And for the last one, uh, you get a choice between doing another one of these or picking one uh, independent model that you get to do. And if you guys know. Uh, you guys have been in my class before. You know how I like to do this. You give me a bunch of them, and I pick uh, I pick one of them uh, that we both agree on, and then you attack the model. Uh, this class is about goes till about May, I think. So I mean, we've got plenty of time here um, to kind of work on a bunch of stuff, get out a bunch of models, and you guys will realize something about me that I go, um, you know, I can go pretty fast, but I try to explain as much as I can along the way. Um, you know, sometimes it'll feel like. Holy crap, it's going, you know, a mile an hour, but uh, 
uh, I try to slow it down and, and help you guys along the way so that you guys don't feel too far uh, left behind because, you know, uh, it, it's a it's a hard industry if you're not like constantly tapped in and if you're not doing it all the time, it's a muscle memory that you'll just lose uh, over time. And even me who do, I do it all the time. Sometimes, you know, little things that I'm like, oh man, that simple thing that I used to know how to do, I can't remember how to do that and I'll have to watch a tutorial. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's something that you guys, you know, the more you do, the better you're going to get at it. And that's how, I mean, that's anything in life, I think. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I look forward to to doing more of this. So let's see how to use ut utilize the Discord channel. All right, so yeah. So you can uh, definitely look at the assignments there and my contact info is right here. So everything you need to, you know, I have a podcast that I do uh, on the art of struggle that you guys can go check out. Uh, this is also my email is here uh, that you can use to send it uh, to me. This is the principles of your school. This is their information as well, just in case you need that for any reason. Um, uh, and you need to contact somebody about uh, something that's a situation that's going on in class. There's information for your principal and vice principal. I don't know if this is are there still your is this still your assistant vice principal Vivian Chandler Fairley? Oh, okay, cool. All right, good. All right, I don't know if you need to update it, but yeah. So uh, her information is there for you guys as well. So um, you guys can contact me. Um, uh, you know, nine to five, I'm usually on here or working on something, uh, or if I'm not working on this stuff, I'm working on a personal project, but, uh, here is where you guys can find free software, right? Um, the reason that I always, I, I like this page a lot is because, um, to do what we do, to do this job, it, it can get a little expensive. It can get uh, a little pricey and for people uh, who don't have money and to you know who can barely afford a, a PC or something like when I was starting out I mean I used to do anything just to get my hands on a PC and then you know um, we used to have to you know kind of do some shady stuff to get software back in the day and and I know how hard and expensive it can be to try to get into uh, the industry to try to break into uh, this this field because there is kind of a big barrier in money because the the real barrier to doing this job is just the amount of software the amount of you know hardware that you really need to do really dope renders and um, you know get really good software and so that's why I always like to give a free software uh, page out where you can find all the stuff that I use right but in a free version. Uh, so there's game engines here, there's sculpting software in here, there's 3D software in here, uh, there's compositing software. And if you're a student, right, there's certain perks to that. So you get free software from different places as long as you're a student. So you can use it to learn, right, in the meantime. And then whenever you graduate and get out into the real world, you can then start to uh, say, hey, I know how to do it. Just put me on it. Somebody will pay you. You can show how you know how to do it. Boom, boom, boom. You're getting paid. Now you can afford the software, right? That's hopefully the transition that you're trying to make, which is going from learning as a student to being a professional and, and using this stuff in the real world. So, um, uh, you know, a lot of the, the thing is some people, you know, uh, once they always say, what's the best software to use? Uh, and, the, you know, there's also, there's a few different answers that I always find really funny and I think the funniest one is, you know, whatever software you use, that's the best software, right? Uh, that's that's funny because, you know, it's true because whatever software I like is the best software. If I like using 3ds Max, then no matter whatever you say, that's the best software to me. It's very, it's it's a very subjective thing, you know, to say uh, to say the least, you know. Um, so. Whatever software you use, I don't care. I use 3ds Max because that's what I learned on, and you know it's a it's versatile. It does a lot, um, and for this class, I would I would you know suggest heavily suggest that you use 3ds Max because uh, I can I know 3ds Max very very well, and I can troubleshoot anything that happens in 3ds Max, pretty much, right. 
But if you have, um, if you're using other softwares like Maya and stuff, that I, I'm not, you know, I'm good at Maya, but I'm not as confident in Maya as I am in 3ds Max. And you know, if you ask me something in ZBrush, I know a little more about ZBrush than I do, uh, say Mo, no, uh, say what's another sculpting software? I don't know, Sculptress, but I do know Sculptress as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, I would just suggest, hey. 3ds max the tutorials i do are in 3ds max um maybe in the future i will think about maybe doing like blender tutorials because it's freeware and i think that that's not a bad idea to you know to just to start learning blender more because it's free um and and that's what i kind of try to give you guys so there's video editing software and you know there's student software here as well so uh long story short find your free software here so you don't have to pay uh, ridiculous prices. So, uh, this next thread is called modeling them shapes. So this is just like a catalog of good topology, uh, good modeling and, and, and different things like that, that you guys can kind of just come and look at scroll through if you're having issues and thinking, okay, so there's a complicated shape I'm trying to make. How would I make it? Well, it might be in modeling them shapes, right? Looking at some of this can give you ideas of how to model certain shapes and how professionals uh, go about modeling those uh, those assets. So this is always fun and I'm always adding to it whenever these guys put new stuff out. So it's always cool uh, to kind of look through uh, some of this stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys different ways to model stuff like this as well. So this is always, you know, this kind of stuff is fun. Uh, fun to do modeling little you know mechanical stuff and you know I'll, I'll do some you know different kind of tutorials as well to show you guys but you know um, yeah that's uh, that's the class so office hours are Monday through Friday 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. so you can reach me usually you know through here uh, through email I check my email hope you know hopefully nowadays I'll check it once a day uh, that's the that's the plan. That's the plan. Check it once a day. Uh, classroom schedule is going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursday. And I don't know. Do you guys have classes, or is this your only class? And you know, what is the? Do you guys have a definite schedule for this class at all yet? Because I don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Monday and Friday. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. So I think what I might do is I might just wait for you guys to go through like maybe like today and tomorrow and then we'll reconvene on Wednesday and see what that is and then make our schedule uh, from there just so I, you know, I can make it so that as many people can be in on the class as possible. So, uh, we'll, we'll do that. Wait till you guys get that, you know, cause I don't know what they're going to do. I don't want to, you know, step on anybody's uh, toes when it comes to that. So. Um, we'll, we'll look at that and see, um, see, see from there. All right. So my lectures, my video lectures. So here are, here's where you can find all my lectures and, and let's go here. So, uh, you guys are going to need to go and, uh, you know, just subscribe to this channel so you guys can get the notifications. I don't know if I can. I think you have to hit the bell to get the notifications, but um, hit the bell to get the notifications of whenever I post um, the most recent stuff. So here is uh, how to model the Mario coin, and there are playlists that you can go to, right? So there's playlists that you can go to, and one of the uh, playlists is the Super Mario World. So this is where all of the tutorials are for uh, this Super Mario coin. Uh, coin this these are all the ones we we did in class last semester um, the most complicated one we did 
was um, this uh, Mario Kart. I think it took, you know, I think two classes because it was one one day we did the uh, uh, the blocking and then the next day we kind of refined it out. And a lot of these are still in just the high poly phase. So that's what we're going to try to do in these classes. We're going to try to get a lot of these, you know, maybe high poly, low poly, uh, fit, you know, render uh, renders out as uh, as quick as possible. So uh, let's see what's next on the agenda. So, yeah, we're still. Yeah. So here is where you guys will see the voice chat. Uh, here is the voice channel. You guys are going to come through in here and uh, You know whenever you guys are here for class remember you go in you do your attendance um, Post that up here at the bottom. This is where uh, you guys are going to see your student threads so each of you should have uh, your name and a correspondence to who you are here so here you should come and you should be able to find your name. And if your name is not on here, please, please let me know uh, because I need to add you to this. So definitely look for your name. If you're on the Discord, you should see that in the student threads. This is where you're going to post all of your work, right? Whenever you pick a model, whenever you're doing your work, you're going to come into your student thread. You're going to find your name and you're going to post it there. That's where I'm going to come and look for your stuff, right? Every day we're going to come through and I'm going to look through all of these threads in here I'm gonna go all right boom this is what you did today this is what you did yesterday this is what you did, you know that's this is where it's gonna all go down and you're gonna need to update this constantly 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 the more you update the better your grade is gonna be the more you update the better your grade is going to be I want to know what you're doing if you're having any troubles if you're if it's good let me know it's good right that's that's the level I want to know all right uh, so there is also going to be a drawing thread. Uh, we're going to pick a day and we're going to draw, right? That's going to be one of the things uh, that we do. It's very important that you guys work on your hand skills as well as your 3D skills because in all honesty, they correlate to each other uh, because your, your attention to detail is definitely going to help in understanding how 3D works and vice versa. They're going to help each other out. And the better you get as a, a artist that way, right? You don't have to be you know, uh, Da Vinci with the, with the hand skills. But if you understand the basics, trust me, it'll take you a very long way to making cooler looking artwork, understanding light, shadow, composition will make you a better artist, uh, as a whole. So that's, you know, part of the stuff that, uh, that we're going to talk about. All right. So in your drawing threads, right, you're going to have the exact same things every week. You're going to be required to do a drawing. I'm going to assign you a drawing to do. And you're going to do that drawing. You're going to post it in here every single week. And then you get points for those drawings at the end of the class. And that's how we assess all that fun stuff. All right. Okay. So now that we have covered uh, that, everybody knows where all of that is. Does anybody have any questions so far? Man, there's a lot of you guys. Nope. Okay. No questions. No questions. So now let's talk about your actual, um, your, uh, actual assignments. And then we're going to ask you guys, I'm going to kind of give the floor to you guys for a moment. So we guys, you know, we can, uh, we can, we can talk. All right. So these, this is going to be your assignments. I'm going to post it in your assignment thread. So I would, I would suggest you guys download this. This is how uh, this is how you guys are going to pass the class, right? This is what is required of you. This is the point structure. Just so you guys, I, I like to keep it a thousand with you guys. I like to keep, you know, this is what my grading criteria uh, for you guys, right? Um, you know, model one, high poly, low poly texture, right? I don't care what you pick for any of these four, right? Uh, it would be cool if you guys coordinated, right? And maybe picked different fours depending on your skill levels, right? picked a different one so you guys can really fill it out and do uh, the max amount that you guys can do and then put it together at the end of the class as like a collage for you guys and I can use it as like your banner or whatever. Like that's, that, I always think that's pretty cool. Um, but you know, you guys are required to do four of those Mario scene models, right? Like these models, you guys are all required to do at least four of them. And right now there's, you know, quite a bit. So you guys can all do different ones uh, somebody's going to have to, you know, if somebody's bold enough to take the car, um, you know, hey, more power to you. Uh, so, 
let's see, let's go back. So, you know, you're required to do that. And then you have uh, a final model and you're going to have your weekly drawings and then you're going to have two quizzes and a final exam. And then you're going to be judged based on your presentation. Uh, you're going to have to create an art station page if you don't have one. Follow me on the instructor and you guys, a lot of you guys have already had me. So you guys should have already done this already. So this should be free points to a lot of you, right? You know, I'm looking at you, the Joshua's, the, uh, let's see, who else do I know from here? Let's see. Oh, but toys here. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. You guys should already have done this. Kevin's here. All right. April, you should have done this. Yeah. Yeah. All of you. I know a lot of you, you guys should have done this. Right? Don't 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 fake. Don't act up. Right? You guys know what to do. You guys know what the drill is. Just come come correct. Come to class. Do your thing. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna do this. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. So for for the next part, what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna ask you who who are you? Right? Yes, this is not an existential existential uh, question. It, you know, it could be. But I want you guys to tell me about yourselves, right? So the first thing I want you guys to do is you're going to give me uh, your name, uh, what you like to be called, um, your level of 3D knowledge, uh, what do you hope to get out of this class, and a hobby you have, right? So that's going to be it. I'm going to start calling you guys out. All right. So let's see. We will start with 38 Brian. I don't know who that is. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, what about a hobby? Yeah. Okay, uh, what video games do you play? Oh, Warzone? Okay, okay, okay. I played the other day. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm not very good at it, but, you know, my homies like it, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, what, what's, what's your favorite soccer team? Premier League, or what, what do you watch? Uh, do you watch Premier League, or uh, what, what soccer do you watch? Are oh, you watching Mexican League? Okay, okay, okay. What's your favorite team? Okay, cool, cool, Chivas. All right, cool. All right, nice to meet you, Brian. Uh, hopefully get uh get to see some of your cool artwork. Uh, you're gonna get better. Let's uh see what you guys can do. All right, who's uh four minutes? Is that a name? Whoever, who's four minutes? Whoever four minutes is. Yeah, four minutes. Yes. John, what's up, John? Okay, I'm gonna call you John. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Overwatch. Alright, cool. What character do you play in Overwatch? McCree? Alright. Man, that guy is that guy is deadly. That guy. I've got uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a McCree user. I don't know. I don't know if we can be friends. Alright. <laughs> no, 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 I don't play fair. I play a uh, junk rat. The rat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to get to do some uh, cool 3D models here in a bit. All right, who's next? Alex Stoker. Alex, introduce yourself. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Good two softwares. Good two softwares to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
cool. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, what kind of video editing do you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. I'll have to check. I'll have to check out some of your stuff. I just got a new camera. Uh, the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. I don't know if you know that camera. But yeah, yeah, I just got that camera. I'm going to start doing some you know, videos and stuff. I do some videos myself too. I do like uh, uh, little YouTube videos. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool All right. Well looking forward to it. April. Welcome back Welcome back Hey <laughs> Okay You know, you still don't, you still ain't picked up a hobby. It's been a whole semester. You should at least pick something up. You had all quarantine. Still ain't pick up a hobby. Oh, okay. That's a, that's not a bad hobby. That's a it's a hobby people have. I'll accept it. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, welcome back. Uh, welcome, welcome back. All right. Who's next? Batoyi. Welcome back. What's up, man? Doing good. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you, yeah. Yeah. No. A lot of people do. White Sim. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, can you do barrel rolls and stuff? <laughs> do you want to be a pilot or something? Do you want to do a pilot? Uh-huh. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, um, nice to have you back, Batoyi. Corey, welcome back. How's it going, man? It's been a while. Uh oh. We got Corey. He sleep. Vintage Corey. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to move on to Mr. Joshua. What's up, Josh? Mm -hmm. Okay, characters. Okay. Okay, what kind of writing do you do? Short stories? Uh... Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You have to tell me about it one of these days. All right, man. It's uh, nice to have you back in here, Josh. Nice to, nice to, yeah. 
<laughs> you think I def- we, we, would you guys think I have deflated or something over time? You think quarantine would have eaten my muscles? Either really, f- oh really? No, no, okay. <laughs> well, you know, quarantine's been good to a lot of people, um, me included. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad to have you guys, man. It's good. It's like a, a mix of all my classes, kind of, because you know, there's some from the first time, and then there's like the uh, the class I had before. So I think I think it's gonna be a good mix. I've got a good mix of uh, students. You know, it's gonna be an interesting, interesting bunch. All right, let's see who's next. Who's Jay Turner? I feel like that that's, that sounds familiar. I know you, Jay Turner. Jalen. Okay. Uh, what do you look like? I can't remember. Jalen. Were you bad? Cuz I feel like I feel like <laughs> All right. What's up Jalen? Welcome back, man. Let's get let's get a little bio going. What kind of games? Oh, okay. Anything that's good? All right, cool. What are you playing recently? What was like the last game you played? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, it's been a while since I played Dragon Quest. Super Smash. I'm pretty sure there's some people in this class that will give you a run for your money in Super Smash. Just saying, I'm not. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just saying, just saying. All right, nice to nice to see you again, or nice to hear you again, uh, Jalen, Juan, Juan, Juan G. Do we know each other, Juan? Yes, yes. What when when did when were you in my class? Oh, snap. What's up, Juan? Oh, Juan. You sat next to me, right? Hey, what's up, buddy? What? Okay. Some of you guys, I told you to skip me. <laughs> what are y'all doing here? I feel like this was like a collusion or something. You guys did this all on purpose. You guys were like, oh, there's Mr. Ty. Let's all get in his class at the same time. But I told some of y'all not to do that, right? All right, what's... <laughs> What's up, man? It's nice it's nice to hear your voice again, man. How's it going, John Juan? Yeah, from what I remember, you learned you were pretty good at designer. Yeah, pretty good at designer. No. What are, what's what? What are your hobbies? Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's gotta be fun. All right, well, nice to have you in here again, Juan. Uh, Kenny. Kenny, I don't know if I've ever had a Kenny in my class. Kenny, is Kenny available? He's here. Which one's who's Eric? Who 
it says. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Okay, Kevin Herrera, I know. What's up, Kevin? Kevin, you in here? You got a good mic, too? You got to have a good mic, Kevin. Come on, bro. All right, Kevin is not here. Who is... Hey, Kevin. What's up, man? All right, so uh, what do you hope to get out of this class, Kevin? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So what about, uh, what, what's a hobby you have? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Warzone. Alright, that's what's up, man. You guys enjoying that new season? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Alright, good to have you in here. Who is this Akatsuki member? Uh, M4RC. Mark, what's up, Mark? If I had you in my class before? Wait, were you the Cowboy fan? Oh, man, nah, bro, nah, man. I'm gonna need to see y'all principal, man. See, y'all can't do it. I said no, bro. It's like, now, how's this going, man? How's it going, bro? All right, good, good, man, good, man. So, how about how about them Cowboys? See, now, see, you came in, you came in. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Who went to the playoffs? I'm just going to put that out there. We went to the playoffs. Y'all sat at home watching it on your couch. All right? That's what we did to y'all. All right. So explain who this, who, who you are. Who you are to these people. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, nice to have you in here, Mark. Uh, your team is going to disappoint you again. All right. Max Ramirez. All right, who is Max Ramirez? I don't know if I have a, I've had a Max Ramirez in my class. Hey, Max. Okay. Interesting. All right. I know a little fusion myself. Okay. Uh, what do you hope to get out of this class? Okay. Learn for the S-Max. Uh, what is a hobby you have? That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, you might enjoy uh, 3D printing uh, if you ever get one here in the future. You ever thought about those? Yeah, cool, 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 man. All right, uh, who is next? Uh, Neo. Neo, okay. Oh, what's up, Jacob? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. High expectations, Jacob. All right, what are, what hobbies do you have? Mm. Sounds like and ha hanging with the cat. What's your cat's name? What? Herbie, okay, good, I thought, okay, good, Herbie, <laughs> all right, all right, Mr. Jacob with uh, Herbie, uh, welcome back, hopefully you get some more info 
Uh, now that you are back in the class, good to have you. Uh, this is going to be an awesome, awesome bunch. All right. Is this the same harmony? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, cool, cool. Well, nice to have you back, Harmony. Um, always get to have, uh, always get to have you guys back in here. Uh, let's see who is Osva. What's up, Osvaldo? I was like, Osvaldo? Oh, what's up, bro? How's it going, man? Okay. Okay, cool. That sounds fun, man. Well, glad to have you back, Osvaldo. Sergio. Have you been in my class before? Summer. Summer, who is in your class? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. All right, cool, cool, cool. Welcome back, Serge. Welcome back. Lachey, I don't know if I've had a Lachey in my class. Uh, Lachey, introduce yourself, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's that's you. That's the usual knowledge base for people, anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Well, welcome to three uh, D modeling and rendering two. Uh, glad to have you here. Hopefully, uh, you can uh, learn a little more about three D and get better at it. Right. Let's see, Giovanni. That sounds familiar. Have you had? Have I had you before, Yovani? Okay, okay. What's up, Yovani? Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. So you've been following all that stock stuff that's been going on with GameStop, right? Huh. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. 
Well, uh, welcome back, Giovanni. Uh, good to have you. You're in a class with Osvaldo. You're, the crew's back together, I guess, it, for a few of my classes, right? Uh, you guys you guys brought the crew with you, so uh, hopefully uh, we're going to have uh, a lot of fun in this class and uh, uh, get to make some really cool uh, stuff. So uh, let's see. Before I send you on your way, your uh, assignment is the same assignment. If you've been in my class, it's always that first assignment, which is to gather all your recent work. And we're going to have a show and tell next class. So uh, you guys should know what to do. Go to my art station, my YouTube follow. Um, if you've already done that, no need to. You've already done it. Um, you're going to get your points. Um, and then you're going to write a brief uh, description about what you think art is. Um, if you don't have an art station, create one, uh, let's see. And then, you know, post your stuff and we'll talk about it next class. That is going to be it for today. Does anybody have any other, uh, questions for me, comments, concerns, are you scared about the workload or, you know, is there any, anything that you guys, uh, you know, need from me so far? Okay. Ask away. Yeah, through the course of the entire semester. I don't care what your time frame is, right? The time frame for you to be should be as soon as possible, right? But it's that's why I'm, I'm treating it like a studio in the sense that you're responsible for four models. I don't care how you do it. You're responsible for, for, for those four. You're required to give me a progress on whatever model it, it is you're doing every single class period. Right. So, you know, the criteria for the class, I don't care what model you do. I don't care which one you pick. You pick one, you start it, you update me as you go along doing it. Right. If you've been in my class, you know the process for this. So other than that, let's get it. All right. If nobody has any other questions for me, is that it? Any other questions? Hmm. I think. All right. Well, I will see you Wednesday, not tomorrow, Wednesday. Let me change this right now. Wednesday.